Forget it. It's been a rotten day. I keep imagining my T-cells evaporating while I'm waiting for the arrival of this great 3TC, which, which will probably not work anyway. Don't, you don't it. say it. Oh, I know. That's, that's bad. That's not a positive thought. Well, I'm sick of trying to eat right and think right and stay healthy and exercise and be cheerful and live in the damn moment when none of this is going to do anything. That's not so. It's going to prolong your life. So I can have a little longer look forward to the end of it? Will you stop it? Are you doing it feeling sorry for yourself? What about me? You? Me. Yes, me, Stone. What have I done since the moment I learned what you had? Since before then when I found you and took you to the hospital. I've loved you. I've worried about you. I've thought about you every minute that I'm awake. And dreamt about it when I was asleep, too. I have to push a whole lifetime of loving you into whatever time we have left. And I want every possible moment. So when you get negative on me, it just makes me crazy. I'm sorry. I'm not measuring up. I'm nagging you out. Well, that's a downer. Well, excuse me. I'm the one that's sick here. Yeah, well, maybe not the only one. How do we know that I don't have it, too? My test came back the same way that yours did the first time. And we don't know that you haven't given it to me because you didn't know. And you didn't care and you didn't ask because you were stupid about yourself and you were stupid about me. Oh, I'm sorry. God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Shh. Don't be. No, it's not. I feel like a monster. I can't believe I could say such a thing. You're not a monster. You're mad. And I don't blame you. God, how could I be mad at you now? You didn't do anything. He didn't ask for this. I didn't do anything is right. I didn't protect us. No, well, neither did I. Neither one of us knew. But I should have. I was the one with the past. But you were tested. You thought it was okay. Just because I didn't mean for it to happen doesn't mean that you shouldn't be mad. I think you need to be mad. We don't have time to be mad at each other. Listen to me. You can tell me what you feel. Because that's not going to kill me. Please don't make jokes like that. I'm not. I mean it. I'm going to die from a disease, Robin, not from hurt feelings. The one thing that we've always had is that you can be honest with me. If you don't tell me what you mean, then then that's all fake. You have knots in your stomachs, and we're not going to know how to trust each other. Right. Okay. Maybe you're right. That was an awful thing to say, but when I said it, it's kind of like something broke open. It's almost a relief. I'll bet. Got any more? No. It's not you that I'm mad at. I'm mad at this horrible disease that goes around killing people. People that love each other. I know, but it's true. All we've done is worry about me and ignore that you could be sick, too. Well, if that happens, we'll deal with it, okay? But I want to focus on you and making the time we have left together wonderful. You know I want that. But you need to think about yourself, too. You got a life outside of me. Remember? You're going to Yale next month. Please. I don't even want you to consider it, okay? I miss making love. So much. Me, too. Don't change the subject. I thought we were the subject. No. It was you and you. I can do and will do what I decide is right about you. Right? As long as you go, like you were supposed to next month. Robin, you can't put your life on hold because of me. 
I am in my life. Living it the best way I possibly can. I love you. I hate fighting with you.